but first, you know, the pressure from many still on the Prime Minister resign. It's now been revealed that he could receive three more fines for uh, attending illegal parties on top of the one he already has. Um, and that comes after a poll result on yesterday's show, uh, where 76 of you said that he should go... 76%. 76%. No, no, yeah, sorry, thanks for that. <laughs> 76 of you said... <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting my sadistics and my statistics mixed up, aren't I? Sorry about that. 76% of you said that he should go, but not Denise. She had a different view. Do I think he should resign? No, because I've said for many reasons in the last two years, as far as I'm concerned, it's sort of better the devil you know. I, I'm not as informed as, as a lot of people on the situation in the Ukraine, um, but I do believe that he is doing the best job he can for that. Well, there you go. And, uh, Nadia, I know that you saw that clip <laughs> and you were slightly Denise, imploding. I love you, but you really, really annoyed me yesterday. I held back from phoning. I, ran... I mean, one of the things that Denise says also is, you know, that she didn't believe in the lockdown. She's always been very honest about that. But this is the man that came up with the lockdown rules and then didn't stick to them. Yeah. Time and time again. Lie to us time and time again. If you actually go back to the recordings of the lies, it's it's just fascinating. And you does that mean that he should go? I mean, resignation is I, a big deal I of a think prime minister. If you eat away at the law, then what do you get? It, it might seem like a small thing, and we've had lots of presenters on the radio talking about, oh, it was a cake, and the cake wasn't open, open and it was cheesy what's it's and and I don't it's forget only nine that minutes. Little, I don't forget that little girl that he that Boris praised when she wrote him a letter saying that she didn't have anyone at her birthday mm. party. Yes, if he was ambushed by a cake, mm. fair enough. But it's not just one mm. thing. And this is the problem. People focusing so much on this was... Do you know what I remember? Minutes. Funny you saying, but Logan, I remember being in my car and at a point that it was like, don't go more than five miles from wherever. And I remember being in my car on my own, you know, obviously no threat of COVID on my own, feeling scared, yeah. feeling anxious, thinking, is this five and a half miles I'm going? Yeah. Should I be in this park? Which yeah. I mean, I remember that feeling so vividly. Yeah. And, you know, Denise... So Denise will say, well, clearly, it was all a load of rubbish then, wasn't it? Because they didn't feel it, they were having parties and they were having a good That's time. That's she should want him to resign them, because he broke... To me, that yeah, was so he didn't organise the party, did he? He didn't organise a party. But he so he nearly died a couple of weeks before. He'd been in hospital, he'd, he nearly this, died. So he made a mistake. Linda, this is a man who is a leader. I know. Leaders should lead. Leaders should not make excuses for getting it wrong. Leaders should show an example. Leaders should have integrity. Leaders should do what they say but they, they will were do. Meeting not every do day. what I say rather than do what I do. Now, you say that to your kids from the very earliest. They were earliest. meeting every day to discuss what was going on in the country anyway. And there's nothing really you can compare excuses. this to. Why do you want to make like excuses? this has ever happened to us in all these years, is it? that's why it's so serious, because this has never happened to us before, because lockdown was brand new. We'd never, we'd never even heard the words of staying at home for months on end. So it was that serious that for him to, in, for him to stand there and say to us all, do not leave your homes, pack up. You know, we were all leaving shop. I was in the middle of a, a show. We, we finished, like, two weeks into a 12-week job everyone was panicking and so we believed what he was saying if he now then if we then find out behind closed doors he wasn't just going to one party but what we're saying is there's another few parties could be up coming to 12, up there could be more 12. and also what about all the do-gooders like us who don't want criminal records who don't want to get into trouble with the police we listen we go okay well I don't want to get a fine for driving down the motorway when I shouldn't so I'll stay at home and then we find out they're untouchable. I think that's but the, the other, problem. I think the is really the important thing on the emotional side, and one of our colleagues, one of the loose women, not so long ago, was weeping downstairs because she felt enormous guilt that she hadn't broken the rules and comforted one of her relatives at funeral because she's stuck so close to all. And, you know, I listen to the radio a lot and you listen to one person after another ringing, uh, ringing up and being told that they're not supposed to feel this way because there's a war in Ukraine, because of the vaccine. But they, these people still couldn't go to funerals, 
Could, babies were born without their fathers there. This has hurt well, a not... lot of people. And for the Tories to keep telling us that we've just got to get over it because it's two years ago, it's not on. It's not I, on. But I totally understand that. And there's a war going on. And people lost lives and people lost loved ones during lockdown. And weren't allowed to my, see them. Go yeah, but the my funeral. daughter lost her dad during lockdown. She yeah. wasn't allowed to go to the hospital, but I told her to go. I said, just go. Just walk in as if you work there and you go and see your dad before he dies. But and you didn't did. make the rules. I didn't make the rules. If, if, they'd, if the police had caught you, they would have fined you because you weren't well, allowed I to do it. But Linda, well, he didn't organise the party, did he? They just brought in a cake for him and saying happy birthday well, to him. It wasn't saying. him that organised it. It was, the, it was the people that were around him it's that organised it. So he's too thick to understand it. His this wife. is great. This is a guy I really want to lead us who's too thick to understand well, the rules that he's telling us. Who else do you want, no, who Linda's else do you want to lead us? Linda's not saying he's too thick to understand it. What she's saying is... Chose not to understand it? Yeah, he chose that it wasn't serious enough for him. The reasoning behind it is what you're defending, but the bigger picture is... If a man who's in charge of all of us is allowed to show he's untouchable and he's allowed to make and break the rules... Well, he's not rules. untouchable cos he's been in trouble for it. He's had to pay a fine for it. Quick, so quick, 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 he's not quick. untouchable, but, but, is he? But what do you think about all the times he stood in the Houses of Parliament and said no rules at any time were broken? Doesn't that, doesn't that make you question his trust? But I know I Edwina Curry yesterday rules. was saying uh, Putin well, will be laughing do, at us. Linda. The rest of the world will look at our dishonest government and wonder how we put up with it. He just it's went embarrassing. In, he went in for a meeting, what he thought he was going to talk about the, the politics police. and what was going on in the Hang country, on. and Hang then on. they no, brought Linda. in a cake for him. He didn't bring the cake and he didn't organise Linda, the party. the police say he broke the rules. OK, well, he's paid the, he's paid the price the, what, for what it, What about he? the party that arrived and only had no, a drink for an hour okay. in the garden. Nadia, we can't pile this all on Linda because what well, she's not piling on no, Linda. No, what I mean is, no, but I, I, I get what you're saying in some respects because the party itself is quite. A, it sounds petty, and if we're going to say we can't be a country that show we've got a dishonest prime minister, there's so many things we'll never know about that they're doing. What about all the, the good doors, things that he's done? When you stand in the House of Parliament and lie and and over and over again, when you've been caught, that's he's different. been caught. It's, it's not a balance sheet, Called you know. If I if down. I get caught for speeding, there's no point in me saying, but officer. I gave 100 quid to charity last week. It doesn't work like that. No. There is not a balance sheet. We have the law. It is a fundamental principle of a democracy that nobody is above the law and we must abide by the rule of law, all of us. And there are many other MPs who have broken the law, who have paid the price and they have lost their jobs. Yeah. It, it's not an unusual precedent to set. And what we're trying to do, and people talk about the war in Europe, we have a war in Europe, we are not at war, there is a war in Europe. We are looking at Vladimir Putin and we are calling him a war criminal. Biden has called him a war criminal. If we think the rule of law is so yes. worthy of defence yes. globally, then we have to defend it rigidly. And our leaders have to defend it rigidly. Just one last word, Allegra Stratton is the only one, isn't it? She's the only one that's paid a price. That was the woman, the press secretary, yeah. who appeared to be standing giggling yeah. at the lectern and, and she hasn't uh, talking even about to be a at mythical any of those party. Parties. They yeah. let her fall for them, didn't they? Well, we're at the beginning of this, though, aren't we? Yeah. We are at the beginning of this because, as I say, that we are hearing that potentially there will be three further fines coming through. We know that there was at least 12 parties well, being investigated. Wouldn't it be great if he came forward now and said, yeah. let me tell you what really went on now before I get these fines? Because wait, basically, we're going to find out as the fines come through and he goes sorry again. Wouldn't it be more honourable yeah. for him to now well, say... Yeah. I well, just want to come clean. The apology we have now is I have paid the fine. I once again offer a full apology. I can understand the anger that many will feel that I myself fell short uh, when it came to observing the very rules which the government I lead had introduced to protect the public. And I accept in all sincerity that people had a right to expect better. Um, so there you go. That is... Uh, we've heard that a lot, haven't we, from uh, Boris Johnson.